Let's take a look at doing some quick conversions using the ASA E6B Color Flight Computer. It is sometimes necessary to convert one value to another in order to obtain the proper value in your solution. You may need to convert such things as distance, time, weight, volume, and temperature. Before we begin performing conversions, it is important to note here that the values of the numbers are dependent on the context of the problem. You will have to be somewhat aware of the scale and relationships between them and the numbers they represent. For example, 10 may not always mean 10. It could represent 1, 10, 100, 1000, or even a fraction such as 1 tenth or 1 one hundredth. Likewise, 55 may represent 5.5, 5,500, or even a number as small as 5 one hundredths. One of the simplest conversions to perform is temperature. The ASA E6B Color Flight Computer has a temperature scale on the face of the slide rule. If you need to convert a Fahrenheit temperature to Celsius, simply find the temperature in Fahrenheit along the bottom of the scale and read the Celsius temperature directly above it on the top scale. Find the standard sea level temperature of 59 degrees Fahrenheit along the bottom of the scale and you will see that it aligns with 15 degrees Celsius on the top of the scale. Other types of conversions are easily made with a single turn of the circular slide. The ASA Color E6B is color-coded to enable quick reference of conversion units. Notice that volume and weight conversions are indicated in red on both the outer and middle scales. Time and distance scales are indicated in blue. Now, let's take a look at making some distance conversions. To convert statute miles to nautical miles, look on the outside scale near the number 70 for markings labeled knot and stat. These are conversion points for nautical and statute miles. To perform a conversion, set the known value under the appropriate arrow and read the converted value under the other. For example, to convert 103 statute miles to nautical miles, set the arrow marked stat on the outer scale opposite of 103 on the middle scale and read the conversion to nautical miles under the knot arrow. 103 statute miles is equal to 89.5 nautical miles. Let's take another example and convert 150 statute miles to nautical miles. Rotate the disk so that the number 15 is opposite the stat arrow, then read nautical miles under the knot arrow. 150 statute miles equals 130.5 nautical miles. The same principle works in reverse, converting nautical miles to statute. 200 nautical miles is equal to 230 statute miles. Another way to perform statute and nautical conversions is to align the nautical arrow on the outer scale with the statute arrow on the middle scale. When set in this manner, any value on the outer scale will correspond with its conversion value on the middle scale. A quick look at the conversions we performed a moment ago confirm this. 103 statute miles is equal to 89.5 nautical miles. 150 statute miles is equal to 130.5 nautical miles and 200 nautical miles is equal to 230 statute miles. To convert these to metric units, align the kilometer arrow on the middle scale with the statute or nautical arrow on the outer scale. Then, find the number you want to convert on the outer scale and perform the conversion to kilometers by reading the middle scale. 50 nautical miles equals 92.6 kilometers. Need to convert feet to meters or meters to feet? Line up the FT arrow on the outer scale with the meters arrow on the middle scale and perform the conversion. One hundred feet equals thirty point five meters. Next, let's move on to weight and volume conversions, which are labeled in red. 
To convert US gallons to imperial gallons, line up the US gallons arrow on the outer scale with the imperial gallons arrow on the middle scale and find your conversion. You can see that 12 US gallons are equal to 10 imperial gallons. This can also be done by lining up the US gallons arrow on the middle scale with the imperial gallons arrow on the outer scale. Just be sure you apply the proper value to the proper scale. Let's take a look at determining fuel weight. Turn the disc so that the US gallons arrow on the middle scale is opposite the fuel pounds arrow on the outer scale. Then find the number of gallons on the middle scale to make the conversion. One US gallon of fuel weighs six fuel pounds. In the same manner, 10 US gallons of fuel weighs 60 pounds. This can also be done for oil pounds. Set the US gallons arrow on the inner scale opposite oil pounds on the outer scale and perform the conversion. One gallon of oil weighs 7.5 pounds. 10 gallons of oil weighs 75 pounds.